Those that dare to fail miserably can achieve greatly. John F. Kennedy. Uh, welcome back to the channel. This is Chuck. So uh, when I was thinking about the video that we did yesterday, I started to get a little bit nervous about the 2x4s for legs. And so I'm going to build another garden bed today. I'll probably just do a time lapse video for it though. But I will do a short segment on how to attach the 4x4 legs. Um, so I'm at our local uh, hardware store here. I'm going to pick up a uh, 4x4 <clears throat> sort of reluctantly. They're so expensive right now, about $26 for one. So, but uh, I think it'll be a lot stronger um, and probably look a little bit better. The, uh, I think the 2x4 for the legs will work, but they just seem a little less secure. Uh, other than that, I'm going to probably work on a couple other projects today. I'll probably film those to show at a later date, maybe early this next week. But um, yeah, so that's it. Thanks for watching the video. Remember, diligence is the mother of good luck. Thanks for watching. So like I said in the beginning of the video, I went and got some 4x4s to use for the legs on this one. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these into 3 foot lengths and then I will show you how I notch them out and attach them to the main part of the garden bed. So what you want to do is just take a piece of 2x4 and you're going to measure it out so that the 2x4, the rails, the supports on the garden bed will sit right down in a slot. Okay, so um, you take your piece of 2x4 here, you put it on top first and mark it and then on the side and mark it and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the sawzall and I'm going to cut down cut across and um, hopefully it'll be flush enough to uh, work out so.
hey thanks for watching the video and a big thanks to everybody who keeps coming back to the channel um, if you're out there and you're planning on building these garden beds I'd highly recommend using the 4x4s that I went over in my video today uh, they seem way more structurally sound and you know a lot more uh, girth to them than the 2x4s but the 2x4s will work um, I think the 4x4s are just better um, or if you want to use 2x6s to build the whole entire thing which that's how I built my first 4 and that works great but um, yeah so I would just recommend using the 4x4s if you can afford it if not 2x4s are fine I really don't think I'll have any issues with that one but um, yeah so or if you have any ideas better ideas or you know of a better way feel free to drop it down in the comments below or if you have any questions about the raised beds or anything else go ahead and comment below um, but we are standing in my grow room right now our bell pepper seeds have finally germinated uh, they're popping up all over the place um, took them a while the broccoli is thriving but um, the bell peppers are, are just going a little bit slow and I think that might be because peppers are recommended to be about four inches away from the T8 lights and I have them probably five or six maybe seven inches away so they're just growing a little bit slower but it looks like almost every single cell has at least one if not two uh, seeds um, sprouting up so um, looking forward to seeing how these uh, plants turn out but uh, yeah so other than that if you have any questions uh, feel free to comment below if you got any value out of this video please smash the like button and subscribe uh, so you can keep up to date with what we're doing and see the progress on our you know our future homestead so uh, as usual I'd like to remind you that diligence is the mother of good luck and uh, thanks for watching.